was told that if somebody asked to touch my hair or somebody came and, and wanted to look at my braids, that was racism being played out in real time and that they were trying to express how different I was and really belittle me. This would happen all the time to me at school. Kids would walk up and go, oh, I love your curly hair. Can I touch your hair? And that was evil to me. That was racism shining right in my face. So you can imagine probably how bad that was for me uh, believing these things as a young person. Interesting, that tone of voice that you used there when you were talking about those kids that would come up to you, the way you mm -hmm. mimicked them was by acting out the vocal intonations of a curious kid, not as someone who's yes. being mean. What do you now think those kids were doing? And what do you think would have been a better way for you to look at that when you were a kid? The best way I could have looked at that as a child was, oh my gosh, somebody is displaying interest in me. How, how wonderful right, a right. thing. We can totally understand how they feel. This is real because the countless other people have felt the same way. However, comma, what about when you find out little boys are curious about little girls developing breasts because they're different? Oh, oh, because it's sexual, so it's different, right? But for a colonizer, it's to not be racial, it's not different. See, and this is it. By having that white privilege to just make it whatever is different about somebody so inherently unique in them that you can just reach out and touch it, or touch a person in general, that's assault, maybe? You know what, maybe we're making a big deal out of nothing. However, comment, keep your hands off of black people's hair and teach your kids to. The same round of this is that same unique hair that kids and adults at times are so interested in running their hands through, y'all have deemed it as unprofessional. But it's not racial, right? It's not racial. Our natural hair that grows out, not even the locks, but the afro out of our own heads, it's its unprofessional. So they, there's a lot of in here that's a little hinky when you really start breaking it down. Ah, e